Hey guys, I'm going to show you small product photography today. My wife has a, a nice little pillow here that she needs to shot. So what I did is I put it in an environment that's kind of rustic. It's got the, the wood here. This is just a pallet that I have. Back there's parts of fences. And this is just something off the little island in our kitchen. I already decorated it up, so I thought, what the heck, we'll just go ahead and put that in there. Um, what we've got going on in lighting, actually, I'll show you the first thing here. I'm going to get my camera rolling here as well on my phone. Back behind here is what I call, it's a 650, a 650 watt airy light, and it's a focus light. So basically, that's coming over here, shooting uh, here with basically 3,200 3, uh, Kelvin lights. And it's going right across here. Now I did put a light stand, you'll see this light stand right here, it's blocking a slat of light right here. And all that does, if you look on the actual image, is it gives it a little um, depth and detail. So in other words, it's not just flat light like it could be. It's got detail in it now. Above is a Godox light, all right? That one is, it's got the honeycomb filter on it, so it keeps it off of the wall for the majority of the time here. Um, this one over here also is keeping that light from coming over here. The, the, the grid, the honeycomb grid is just really great at focusing the light uh, in one simple area. Now these lights, this one and this one, are both daylight balanced. The one back here, this one, is tungsten balanced. So it means that's an orange light. These are more of a blue light, like a daylight. What you want to do is basically balance your camera to... I got mine, let's see, what have I got it at? All right, over there, I've got it at 5,000. So right down there at the bottom, it's 5,000K. The reason I did that, I want it to be a little warmed up anyhow, right? I want it to have a warm look. So the 3200 warm shot is coming through here and creating shadows and a warmth that looks like a daylight. Now, I got one more. If we didn't have this little guy right down here, uh, and it's actually blocked off so it doesn't come over anywhere over here, um, if I didn't have that filling in right here, we'd have a pretty harsh shadow right there. So if you look at it, what I have here is this light coming across. This is a key light. This is my main light. Then I want to create an ambience. So ambient light just bounces all over the place. It comes in from walls and different things. And what it does is it nicely fills in shadows here, right? Well, there's one, that Godox there. This one over here is filling in. This one here is filling in. So it creates this nice non-shadow casting um, light that really, really helps out. Um, I'm going to show you this. If we take this and turn this light off, watch the shadow. It darkens up. It's not as pleasant whatsoever. Turn that back on and pow! Now we see our product a whole lot better. All right, let's see if I turn this one off. All right, we get more shadowing. And to be honest with you, after I turn that off, it looks pretty cool. That's one thing about this is just experimenting with the lights on and off, changing the degree. And these Godox lights are really nice because they're variable. You can actually dial them down uh, quite a bit from bright all the way down to 20%, I believe. So, and I can't get over to this light here. If I turn that one off, it would really be bad. I'll tell you what, we're going to just splice the time here. I'm going to run around here and turn that one off and we'll see what that looks like. All right, we've just turned that light off, and you can see it's maybe not so pleasing. It looks a little too shadowy to me. We turn it back on, and there you go. And actually, looking at the image, if I dialed it down a little, and that's what I'm doing, I'm making it a little, a little more realistic, like one side's lit and the other side's not lit. So that makes a huge difference. And, you know, it's funny. When you teach this stuff, it helps you learn at the same time. So that's one reason I do this, is teach people. It makes me think, why am I doing what I'm doing? I've done this for probably, oh man, it's going on 35 years, if not over 35 years. So this right here, I actually started in commercial photography um, at the same time as I did video, but commercial photography, I was shooting for people like Magic Chef, uh, Sears Roebuck. We actually would build half sets to where it's basically half a house inside of a big, big building then light it and make it look like it was real. So it was a really cool uh, experience. It taught me a lot, a lot of this lighting because they also did small products as well. So there you have it, guys. And also, just for you, I've posted links to all the products that I've used here, the lights, 
Uh, and, and I didn't even mention this, the gobo, this is actually one of the things that knocks the light off of the lens and keeps it from getting uh, blasted out. But I'm posting links so you can actually buy the product. And at the same time, if you buy that product from that link, it'll help me very, very much because that's how I get this whole thing paid for. If I didn't have that to help pay for this time that I spend here teaching for free, uh, I really wouldn't even be doing this probably because I'd have to do other work to make a living. So anyhow, subscribe and I'll see you next time on this one or the next one or whatever one you're watching. See ya.